hey, let's let's actually make some dust. What do you guys say? You know what? When you said we could actually do a demo live and make some dust, I was excited. So let's do it. It's man glitter. <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now that we've kind of built the case for what we're trying to do here, I, we've had a lot of people, you know, ask us, "Hey, what is this new tool that you guys have?" And this is a set of cool arcs. So we've always had these arc templates for many years, but now we actually made the arcs with this channel in it. And so that channel is what puts these curved lines on here. Does that look familiar? So it does. It, there you go. It looks familiar. Because this channel rides in here. See that? That's a 5 8 bushing. And then you can put whatever bit you want inside there. The channel rides in here. It slides on there. And it just makes this cool little track uh, for us to guide this bit on. So we're going to take these little side panels. It would kind of be your side panel for an enclosure. I've pre-taped the back. And notice I've taped the whole thing. Be very generous with that two-sided tape. Right. Um, it's yeah, don't go skimpy on it because it will vibrate. It will try to move and slide on you. And and if you look at the geometry of these, they have numbers on them. before I stick it down. I just want to make the make sure we we're all on the same page here is 30, uh, you know, 28 and so on. It goes up and down. What the 30 means is that's the radius. So that's a 60 inch circle is what we're looking at. If we laid this out in a continuous circle, it'd be 60 inches or 28 wow. or so on. You know, so you could just take the radius and times it by two and that tells you. But what makes it really cool is the negative of this fits the positive of that. And that's what's cool is you can just stack these up and cascade them together. And then and it makes a really cool design. So let's uh, let's let's just lay this out. Let's get our tape going here. If you guys can see it in our sky cam. Oh, well, we can see it's good. That looks great. Good. Uh, yeah, I'd love to hear some comments on the sky cam. We're always trying to make our demos better. This is about four times harder to do on, on this type of camera live setup than just doing it live. <laughs> sure, <laughs> absolutely. So I'm going to just set these two like this, and I'll show you. Tape this down. This is taped to my bench. Now, this whole table is a downdraft sanding table, okay? You can get a fancy one like that, or we actually make something super cool. And if you can see this, this is perfect for you guys, for any shop, really. This fits on a brute garbage can, and it has geometry, so it adds, it's an actual downdraft sanding table. Look at the bottom of it. That fits on that Home Depot brute garbage can here. You hook up your shop back, you can do a single <laughs> or a double, and it's a hollow cavity on the inside there. So we call this Oscar. So everybody meet Oscar, <laughs> like Oscar the Grouch right there. That's exactly and, what I was thinking. You said Oscar, I'm thinking Sesame Street. <laughs> yep. And it works. You know, it's just nice because you're already using that garbage can to drill on and cut on. Why not make it a workbench? Commit to it. And, and we like to use those nice wheels so it'll roll around. It's super cool. So this, this is a nice piece. And uh, it's a new product for this year. You know. Just like you guys, Kip, we've been able to have a ton of free time where we've been able to do R&D and build new products. And really, Mark and I have been able to collaborate on a lot of stuff. And uh, hey, that you know, we got to thank the pandemic for all these new tools that we're coming out with because we have the time to really think through and make some clever you know, devices. You know, while you're setting up there, Brian, to actually do this question for you, since you just said what you did, do you find that because of working with Mark and him doing, you know, these installs and going into the depth that he does, does he come up with ideas then for you to create a tool to make it easier? Oh, absolutely. You know, we, okay. we kind of feed off each other and we just yeah, have we, a good time. We talk like every day. <laughs> We're always <laughs> collaborating on stuff for sure. So. <laughs> it's it's fun you know and uh we're just a we're just a bunch of kids playing with toys that's it so if you guys haven't seen any uh, you know I'm, I'm sure there's some makita fans in milwaukee and dewalt they're all good makita was the first to kind of come out with this and i already have the battery system for this but they're all good um, this is what's super cool is it, you put that template guide right on here it fits on here and make sure you tighten that that call it really tight and the key thing is with the uh, the, the Makita, as long as you're pulling it towards you, you're going in the correct direction. So what I mean by that is I'm going to set it on here. And if I pull it towards me, that is the correct direction. So if you push, it's going to want to pull away from you. You want to go against sure. the bit. 
So let's turn it on and I'll get my dust collection on. Pretty smooth. Brian, That's... you're you're running that uh that V-nose bit, right? Yeah, so this is this is a, called a flat V-nose. It, it has, it's a V-bit, and we carry this bit, but it's flat at the bottom, and that's by design, so the vinyl will tuck in there really nicely. So I want to change it up a little bit. We, Mark and I thought of an idea to show you guys. That's a continuous cut that goes all the way end to end. What if we want to stop it and make some designs in the middle, like a truck box or something? So what do you, what you yeah, what do we do? So, so you just you're gonna just take you could use a block of wood or, or or another template, and let's just set this right here, and we're gonna set it and two side tape this on here, and that we're gonna just make this come in and stop, and if we wanted to have a whole bunch of them cascade, you could do that as well. It's it's super easy to do, and uh, you know it's it's not a problem at all. So let's just do the same thing again, and I'll show you how we can stop it. Make sure our dust collection's on. Wait till that thing stops spinning before you lift it up. And I always like to start it while it's in here. If you have that on and you try to start it down there, you, you might have a little bit of an issue. <laughs> right. Sure, it makes total sense. But it, it obviously, see what you're showing there, you can obviously you know lay spacers or other guides as you're doing and create your offsets however you want and do, like you said, a start a line, stop a line, however you want. Mm-hmm. Now, one last thing I'll point out here before we pull this off is that's an eighth inch bit. And we decided that eighth inch bit based off of that gap guide. That's why I showed it in the beginning. That eighth inch is perfect for our vinyl and carpet. So we could actually just tuck it and do one panel. So if I want to have that, that carpet blind right there, you know, these are just design elements. They're kind of a, a debossing, if you will. But this, I could do a, a material change and do carpet to vinyl and what Mark's holding it up right there in that gap. So it, we just don't, you know, when you're getting out a can of Bondo and you're, you're making all this mess and you're sanding for days, you lose money and it just takes time. I like to have everything all in one piece and it's, it makes it super easy. So you're going to peel this off. There's your tape. You can just peel that up, but there's your super clean lines. That would be hard to do if you held it, you know, just by oh. hand. Or not or just hard. I'm, I'll go with next to impossible. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of cool, and it just gives you an idea of, you know, if you look at some of these guys doing cool truck boxes and stuff, that's how we're making the stop. Is we're just putting a line there, and you just have to compensate from the bushing to the edge of the outside diameter of that router. You're going to have that much distance, but it's a really, really cool way to do this. Mm -hmm.